Shush girl, shut your lips. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 music videos that didn't age well. For this list, we'll be looking at music videos that might have been okay when they were made, but for one reason or another, just don't sit well with us these days. Unlike these videos, your comments age perfectly like a fine wine. So let us know what you think of our choices and leave a comment below. Number 10. Stupid Girls – Pink We give Pink a big thumbs up for what she was trying to do with her 2006 hit Stupid Girls. The song is meant to be a feminist anthem designed to encourage girls to be who they are and praise intelligence over superficial beauty. Unfortunately, the way it goes about doing this is by demeaning and looking down on stupid girls, which according to the video is anyone from a spoiled celeb to a pretty girl at the gym. Pink doesn't want females to feel judged in this misogynistic society, but that's pretty much what's happening in this video. Then there's the cringingly insensitive portrayal of eating disorders that just isn't funny these days. Number 9. Dude Looks Like a Lady – Aerosmith We'd like to think we've come a long way since 1987 in our understanding and sensitivity towards the transgender community, and as such we can hopefully all agree that as catchy as this rock song is, Dude Looks Like a Lady just wouldn't fly today. Sure, it gets a laugh when it plays over Robin Williams dressed up as Mrs Doubtfire, however, as a writer at Vox pointed out, the lyrics fall back on a false narrative that trans women intentionally deceive men, or are in disguise, and that they are unattractive or repulsive. Although it feels much more out of place today, Aerosmith's lead guitarist Joe Perry was actually worried at the time that the song might offend the gay community. Number 8. Hot for Teacher – Van Halen Unfortunately, there's nothing too out of the ordinary about a music video featuring scantily clad women being gawked at and sexualized. Thankfully, that demeaning gaze is usually coming from adults. In Van Halen's Hot for Teacher, however, it's a bunch of grade school kids cheering and leering as their phys ed and chemistry teachers rip off their clothes and catwalk on their desks like it's a raunchy Victoria's Secret fashion show. Teachers already don't get the proper respect they deserve for the important and difficult job they do, and portraying them merely as sex objects surely doesn't help. I'm a oh! Number 7. Criminal – Britney Spears In case you didn't pick up on the fact that the song is about Britney Spears being in love with a criminal, the video for Criminal uses glossy and sexy imagery to make the point abundantly clear. He is a hustler, he's no good at all. Sure, we all know the trope about girls falling for bad boys, but does this video really need to enforce that stereotype with sex and guns and make it look appealing? As Sarah Dean of the HuffPost UK said, if having a blonde, leather-clad superstar brandishing a gun at a shop owner's face isn't glamorising violence, I'm not sure what is. But mama, I'm in love. Number 6. Girls on Film – Duran 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 wrote Girls on Film about the sexualization of fashion models and the dark side of the glitz and glamour. However, that's probably not what most people are thinking about as they watch gorgeous women sumo wrestle, give massages, and strut around in skimpy outfits while the band plays on stage. While the exploitation is hard to ignore, it should be mentioned that the band didn't plan for the video to be seen by kids on MTV. In fact, they filmed the video before MTV even went on the air, with the expectation that it would only be played in nightclubs. Number 5. Misery – Maroon 5 
Adam Levine spends the whole Misery video being slapped around, beaten up, sexually assaulted, and almost being killed by his gorgeous girlfriend. So scared of breaking it, that she won't let it bend. Model and Vyalid Sinner was also Levine's actual girlfriend at the time, but that hardly makes it better. While the abuse and stylized violence is mostly played for fun and laughs, that's also kind of the problem. If the roles were reversed and Levine was the aggressor, would it be funny or acceptable? Yes, roles reversed can be used intelligently to comment on social and sexual issues, but vapid lol violence isn't an example of that. Number 4. Don't Trust Me 303 303's video for Don't Trust Me begins with a title card stating that only two men, and all the women, have survived a global virus. Black dress with the tights underneath. I got the breath of a last cigarette on my teeth. This was back in 2008. Whereas these days, any reference to a worldwide virus hits us all a little closer to home. Band member Nathaniel Mott has talked about how the video was just supposed to be raw and strange, and it is. However, along with the fun and energetic strangeness, the lyrics are quite misogynistic. We haven't heard the word ho used that much since we met Santa. Then there's the part where they shake their butts at the camera while telling a girl to be quiet and do the Helen Keller and talk with your hips. Cringe. Never trust the ho. Me. Number 3. Ugly Boy – The Antwerd There's a whole lot that's disturbing about the music video for The Antwerd's 2014 track Ugly Boy. There's the glamorization of guns, the bloody violence, and the typical female sexualization. But none of that's the reason it's here. For that, we can start with the blackface. Yes, they had scenes of a guy dancing and smiling in blackface. Although, to be fair, that was probably just as wrong back in 2014 as it is today. One thing that wasn't, though, was Marilyn Manson. While the Antichrist superstar has always courted controversy, the 2021 allegations of psychological and sexual abuse were of a new level. So, seeing him standing tall next to a pretty woman in the video comes loaded with that extra baggage. Number 2. Hello Kitty – Avril Lavigne Cultural appropriation is a major buzzword these days, and we're pretty sure it was back in 2014 also. Well, if it was, it wasn't a word that was buzzing around Avril Lavigne or the team involved with the production of her Hello Kitty music video. From the crew of Japanese backup dancers to the scenes shot in a sushi restaurant, this J-pop inspired track wasn't subtle about its influence. And while critics didn't like the song, the video received just as much criticism at the time, with Slant Magazine writing that it took cultural misappropriation to cringe-inducing levels. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Turning Japanese – The Vapors The good news is that, contrary to popular belief, Turning Japanese wasn't written about the squinting face people make in the climactic moment of, well, you know. The song is actually about a man who has lost his girlfriend and feels he's going crazy, turning into something different. The bad news is that the music video is still a cringe-worthy expose on cultural appropriation. From the subservient geisha to the intercutting of lead singer David Fenton and a samurai, both swinging a sword. The lyrics might be a metaphor, but unfortunately, they went quite literal for the music video. Yeah! 